check this out hello 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 this is what it looked like before this is what it looks like after hey guys so today i've got an instagram hacks video for you and i wanted to do an instagram hacks that's a little bit different because i feel like people just show you the like the gentle editing you know they just made the photo a little bit brighter a little bit more saturated but people are not showing you how they snatch your waist snatch your face in you know smooth it all out make it like extra glowy and stuff like that and sometimes you do see photos and you're like how does your photo look like that why is it that when i try to do it i'm not able to do it and i feel like you just kind of need to know exactly how and what people are using because people are genuinely using iphones but they are also using other cameras and other bits of software so today i want to show you how to really get that instagram glow way snatched and that you know amazing look going on and i'm sure lots of people it, i think this can be slightly controversial because people don't necessarily want to fess up to like editing photos but lots of us definitely do it and it's all about doing it in subtlety and kind of enhancing what you might already have or sometimes what the camera takes away because sometimes i'm like i take a photo of myself i'm look i look 10 times better than that in real life so why is the camera not picking it up so that's usually the case that i do it so the first thing i want to show you are the tools that i use and i use my iphone and i use my sony a5100 these are basically all i use to take photos i also have a samsung phone that i also use here and there as well for photos but these are the main things i do for my photos on instagram now i will say that there's pros and cons to each so number one this picks up really high quality it's got a skin smoothing effect on it and i just think it just gives you that kind of glamorous glow and um it's really detailed but i genuinely feel like this camera distorts your face like it makes your face look a little bit you know wider a little bit um I don't know a bit more fish eye so it comes out in the middle more because this is a wider lens whereas i feel like the iphone camera is way more true to life to what your face actually looks like and say for instance i don't have to change the shape of my face when i use my iphone but when i use this i have to kind of put my face back to normal because it kind of looks a bit alienish in my opinion and i have noticed that people say you look a bit different and it's only when i use this camera that it looks different and um i do use the front camera for selfies it's not that good but on the 6s it's excellent let's firstly talk about editing apps and how they and how they work there are basically about three apps that i use for any one photo and i wouldn't say i do this all the time and i wouldn't say that if you're an everyday girl that you need to do this but if you want to be fly and if you want to be like really i don't know if you want to make it a bit more than just um you know a dry instagram feed then i think you do have to make some more effort into it so i use about three different apps and the apps that i use are number one face tune number two i use afterlight and number three i use vso cam so i'm going to go ahead and edit this image here this image was taken on my iphone in front of a window i don't usually use lights when it comes to taking it but lots of people do and i basically have a few simple steps that i always do when it comes to editing in selfie so the first step i always do it's got these steps here the first thing i always do is i whiten and i always whiten my background i don't know why but i think it just makes everything in the image pop and all you do is basically press whiten and that's it and already you'll notice that when you whiten the background it makes everything else pop out and it's okay if you go over black it doesn't seem to change the color black but it can change the color of other things so that's what it looked like before that's what it looked like after and then the next step i do is i smooth my skin and this is probably just to i don't know get rid of any blemishes but it kind of gives you that kind of instagram halo and mostly everyone does this i think you just need to do it in moderation and as well i've got like dimples but if the dimple's not showing it kind of just looks weird so i just smooth it out unless it's like a proper dimple and i usually just do my forehead around my cheek area my fake dimple that didn't quite dimple up properly definitely under my eyes because sometimes this is where you get some creasing and on the tip of my nose as well but i kind of like to leave the tip because there's a nice highlight on it and if you smooth it you get rid of the highlight so this is the before 
that's what it looks like that's the difference the next thing I like to do which makes your eyes pop is I actually whiten the whites of my eyes again it depends on what light I'm in sometimes it needs it sometimes it doesn't but just simply just doing a little bit of white it makes the white of my makeup pop more and it makes my pupils pop more as well so let's look at the difference and I've kind of done an extreme version so that um, so that you guys can really see what it looks like but that's the before and the after of the eye whitening it's I'm not gonna lie it's very subtle and then I will go ahead and use the tool here called details and then what I do is I would sw carefully swipe on top of my lips because if you do too much it can look a bit crazy and I think that looks a bit much so I'm just gonna go details and just touch it and it kind of makes your lipstick pop do it on the brows get those brows popping do it on the eyes get those eyes popping the difference is very subtle because you can't see it but it does make a difference here and I could do it a bit more extreme so you can see but there you go that's what that looks like so the one thing I do is sometimes I do reshape and usually I do it on the Sony camera because this camera basically distorts your face but on the iPhone camera not so much but what I do I always like to basically make my neck look longer and bring my shoulders down I don't know why I think it looks more attractive but you simply just do that and you can also bring your chin and everything in a bit more so that's the difference between shoulders up and shoulders down now this lighting is very light because I took it in front of a window so what I like to do is then save that down when I've done everything that makes the image look you know beautiful quote unquote beautiful I will then add all the color and everything so I go ahead and open this up in I in afterlight as well and for me what it is is that this image is far too like bright and needs to be kind of made a bit darker and added a bit more color so what I do is I would drop down the brightness to make it a little bit more rich a bit more true to my skin tone and then I will increase my contrast as well and that makes stuff pop and that's basically it in this so you can see this is what it looked like before it's what it looks like after before after when I'm done with that I save that to my camera roll and then I edit it for the third and final time in VSO cam and I would then add a filter that I like that I feel represents my Instagram feed so there's so many different filters that you can use and I really like the ones like this that are desaturated this is a really popular colorful one this is like it's got soft hue over it that's kind of green one but I usually go for a4 or a5 and then what you can do is you do you can dictate how much of it it basically does it so yeah so when it comes to taking photos of here the first thing is I do I will pick the photo from my camera and then I transfer that via Wi-Fi to my iPhone and then once it's in my iPhone I go through the same steps that I would normally go through so when I get onto my iPhone the tool I use is play memo and so I can view all the images that I've transferred from my phone from there to here so let's go ahead and edit this photo if anything do you know what? there isn't really very much that i change so i would do the thing i normally do which is to whiten the background whiten everything maybe i'd whiten my top as well because it kind of looks like an off-white but this did really doesn't need that much editing if i be completely honest with you and then i will smooth what you can see is that my pores are more visible so I can smooth this but again I don't like overdoing it because you kind of end up losing some of the the nice shine and also you might see that I've got some creasing here as well so I can smooth that a touch so that's the before the after and I will white in my eyes so you can see that you can kind of see you know my eyes are not that white there it makes your eyes just pop out as well look at that isn't the eye a beautiful thing then I can go ahead I might just smooth a touch just because I'm used to smoothing and there we go and I would still always add back detail so I want my lips to pop and I want my brows and my eyelashes to pop pop in can you see a slight difference yeah there's a difference you can see that you can also add more contour so I'm just gonna do I wouldn't normally do this on this photo but I want to show you how you can pick a tone so I can see my darker color here 
and I can pick this colour and I can just brush a touch more contour on like that. Exactly the same way I would do it with makeup. Just adding a little bit more of a darker colour. That's a little bit extreme, I'm not even going to lie. So you can just basically erase it as well. That's pretty. Now I've said if I am going to change the shape, I always bring up my shoulders down and make my neck look longer. And I never use a reshape because that looks kind of crazy. But if you use refine, that looks a lot different. So right here my shoulders seem a little high and this is before and this is after. And I think this is the one step that lots of you can do. But if you look you can actually see that my, it has kind of distorted the top I was wearing. Um, so I can erase that if I want to by using the patch tool but do you know what I don't really care it's not that deep. Don't you love it? So this is the photo now and this is it. This was it before but I'm going to change the colour because I think this looks a bit too yellow. I'm not going to change it in afterlight, I'm going to just change it in VSO cam. So I'm going to show you what I would do. I would basically change the temperature and I'd make it less yellow which means I'm making it colder. You can go blue or you can go orange. So I'd make it like just two steps cooler. I would add more contrast. Contrast basically makes your darker bits darker and your lighter bits lighter and then I could also saturate a little bit that's a little bit much but yeah and then I can go ahead and add one of these filters if I wanted to again a5 is literally like my favorite but I might drop it down and make it like that that's two photos edited you can see the quality of the Sony camera versus the iPhone front camera. And now I'm going to finally show you how you can edit the body. And this is the secret that lots of people don't want to show. So yes, I'm sure lots of you think probably nothing needs to be done to this, but I'm about to show you what a lot of people do, which is basically snatch the waist, um, make things look a little bit more tight, a little bit more refined, um, which is okay, but to totally unnecessary lots of the time and I'm gonna just focus on my waist area and I'm certainly gonna use the reshape tool again refine and what you have to do is you have to come in really close to avoid looking crazy and I'm just gonna basically snatch my waist in a touch just a touch that was quite extreme that but I can do that without distorting anything else you really have to be careful because if your backgrounds not plain you can actually end up looking crazy and distorting loads of things and then this side my arms really close so the reality is that you can't I don't want to change too much because my arms gonna go weird but what I can do is just bring in some of the stripes and then that looks like from that to that and then this is my kind of side hip dent place can bring that dent out which is a dent I've always had I don't mind it there it looks like I've got an athletic body when I really don't check this out hello 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 so it's so interesting to see I know loads of people do this I don't personally normally edit this but I wanted to kind of show you what can be done I think this looks a little bit ridiculous um people can narrow their thighs if they wanted to so sometimes you see those thigh, I don't actually know how you do a thigh gap because the thighs are both going to change but you can see how it might be possible normal to Instagram <laughs> and then another thing you can do I personally prefer to play with shade and light because it's much more natural you can smooth down the legs and then where I've got um, shadow I can pick the shadow by just picking it and what if you wanted to look say slimmer you can just use shadow it's similar to contouring and it looks a little bit more toned again you want to avoid looking dirty if that makes any sense so instagram versus real life again i have been very subtle with the activities there are totally people who take this completely and utterly overboard and you probably want to decide if that's something you want to do um i think you can do the same with boobs i think you can i, I don't really ever do that but like look Check out those boobs, boobs. <laughs> They've got a bit crazy. <laughs> Hold on, what am I doing? What am I doing? Yeah, I, would, I don't know how you do the boobs. I don't know if you do that. Let's see if you could. Yeah, you can make the boobs slightly bit bigger. Oh yeah, you can. Look at those, check them out. And then obviously, I think another way would be to, again, the shading. Let's shade those. No, they look, they look dirty. They look like dirty boobs. <laughs> right, okay I'm not really a boob shaping expert for those of you who just like to take beautiful landscapes as well I'd say that afterlight and um, VSO cam are all you need I took this photo at a really gorgeous location and um, 
I knew that there was ways to just make this look, you know, a little bit more fleek. And then this is where I basically clarify. Clarifying basically kind of brings more light to the center and adds more contrast. I'm going to clarify. I am going to brighten a touch. I'm going to add more contrast and I'm going to saturate the before, the after, the before, the after. And it's simple, it's simple playing with light. Then with the VSO cam, I will go ahead and use the colors that I feel match my theme and my vibe. So you guys know I love A5 and I love A6 because it desaturates, but I can use C1, make it look bright and F2 and make it look cool, which I think that looks really nice. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. So guys, those are some of my Instagram hacks that I hope you find useful. Um, again, don't overdo it. Let's not go crazy. But genuinely, sometimes you might be looking at some Instagrams and some people and thinking, how do they look so perfect? And you're, you know, going crazy about yourself looking awful and not realizing that there's probably a lot of face tune, reshaping, colorizing, contour and lighting going on. So if you want to look just as good in pictures as they do, then you just probably need to implement some of these tools but remember instagram and real life are two different things okay so guys thanks for watching and i will catch you later anything else you want me to do please let me know and i'll get that done for you you know it's nice to have some big old pillows in the same breath you know you don't let anyone touch them because you're like no babe no away from the boobs